What's the password? Nah, that ain't it. Get on out of here, kid. Hey guys, Johnny Roman here. How you doing? It is Friday. <laughs> oh, end of the work week. It is a crazy week. And look what I got here. I got another little tote. <laughs> Ton of the totes. But first, <laughs> I want to remind you that Christmas is coming up. And look, <laughs> the co-worker found the ultimate Christmas wreath. Is that funny? So we're going to dig into this and talk a little bit about Christmas. You ready? Let's dig in. Hey, cats and kittens. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh, first we got this cool case of slot cars. They are all slot cars. Is that crazy? But I want to talk about Christmas. Now we're We're gonna go out and visit Soda Pop for Christmas. Which means the Christmas countdown has to be counted early. So I'm gonna be doing the Christmas countdown probably late October, November, and just schedule it for our countdown. So here's the Christmas wreath, but I think I might pull off a car or two. <laughs> These babies are on there. But someone pulled off a couple here, and if I read the hot glue, I bet you could figure out what they were. There's one, two, <laughs> three, four cars that were pulled off. Red line, 1969, white Camaro. What? What? Oh, so this hot glue just kind of peels off. But there's some pretty cool cars on here. <laughs> Uh, can we get this off? This is a Continental. Lincoln Continental. Yeah. <laughs> so they hot glued the life out of this. Now, the great thing is, I tried to... Um, I tried to race one of these with the hot glue on the bottom, not realizing the hot glue was on there. And it didn't race worth a darn. But look, with a little peeling action and carefulness... You could get that right off. And we got a roller. So, pretty sweet, huh? Oh, look at this NASCAR. Let's see if we can get that baby off. And this one. And this one. Oh, yeah. Christmas is coming. And the Christmas videos are going to be rocking. Oh. And some great crafter who made this is crying in their their iced tea right now as I tear apart their creation. So we <laughs> oh oh I'm getting weaker by the moment. The hot glue's winning. Oh yeah, baby. There's another one and another one and another one. <laughs> And another one, and another one, <laughs> and another one, and a Volkswagen that is just struggling to fight to stay on there. He's the last one. Oh, yeah. Hopefully those wheels won't go whack like a jack attack on me. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Uh-oh, the chassis coming off. Come on. Oh my, I need Hercules here. <laughs> what is going on? Seriously, the base is coming off. This hot glue is working like no tomorrow. Oh, it's a plastic base. That's why. I won, I won. <laughs> oh, the glue got around the... Uh, yeah, that is why around the axles. <laughs> oh, tell Grandma, do not hot glue your Hot Wheels to anything. They're for racing. Oh, there we go. A little chippy dippy on that one. What is going on? 
put the chippy dippy on the Christmas wreath. That's not right. Look at this continental, pretty sweet. I'm digging that one. That's nice. Now we can roll these down the track. Oh, did I show you the bottom? Nice bottom. She's snaily. Lighten up, baby. Lighten up. <laughs> Catman down in South Carolina. You lighten up too, my friend. Oh, this one's pretty sweet. I have no idea what it is. And I'm kind of Sinistrate. Sinistra. Sinistra. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. These goofy words. I like just simple words. But hey, it's a different craziness. New words being invented every day. Look at this one. Oh, it's a, it's a treasure hunt. No, I don't know what this one is, but it's pretty cool. Whatever it is. Chrysler. Concept. Oh, Firepower Concept Car. That would be pretty cool going down the street. Oh, look at this pickup truck. That's pretty nice. Look at that all tricked out grill. What the heck is that? <laughs> Dust. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh-oh. Super Fan B. Gotta get the duster out. Gotta wash these babies. My spritzer went on this, this spritzing. Oh, did I show you the bottom of this? There it is, upside down. Custom 69 Chevy GM. Look at this bad boy. Little drift car. Equivalent of a Honda S2000. It's an MX48 turbo. Whatever that is. Pretty sweet. Oh, look at this. Ferrari with a nice blue bottom that came right off, which was nice. Look at that. I customize them by taking the glue off. Aren't it fancy? That's a nice little Ferrari. 250 LM. Oh, look at this. That is pretty fun. I don't know if my glasses are fogging up today or what, but... Oh, <laughs> dusted dirty. Yeah, these are... That's probably been sitting around for a while. And there we go. That hot glue, as gluey as it gets, baseline as gluey as it gets it comes right off which is very cool now we've seen this guy several times before the Dodge Hot Wheel van with the treasure hunt logo on it before it was a treasure hunt so custom 77 Dodge van man if that was a treasure hunt that would be great I was watching Ford Man's Treasure Hunts Ford Series Challenge today. Pretty cool. He's got a ton of cool, cool treasure hunts. What 4 2? Oh, get it. Four engines. Pretty wild. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get to the slot cars today. I've only been out here about 10 minutes and I'm sweating up a storm. It's like a, you know, the, the hot box out in the sun. <clears throat> Amico Ultimate, Siemens. I did 
catalogs for them a long, long time ago. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What is this, Racing Champions? Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice. Kind of, when you're a kid, do you take the white glue and spread it on your hand and let it dry and peel it off? <laughs> I did that all the time. That's kind of like what this uh, hot glue's like. Look at that. That's a pretty nice little car. Drifter. Let's see if it'll race. Oh, look at this. What is that? A Celica? Toyota? Glue Bomb. That's what it is. Oh, that is pretty cool. You could make molds of the bottoms of these. Lotus Esprit. 2001. Pretty nice. Man, I want to get the hot glue gun out just so I can take them off again. It's kind of cool. Look at this cool thing. So remember, I'm going to be recording uh, Christmas stuff probably late January. Or January. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Late October, early November. So it might be a little crazy around that time. Here's our beautiful wreath. So I don't know what there's cars on it. So it's like a car fabric on the wreath. Kind of just wrapped around and here's all our glue spots. <laughs> so I'm just glad that the glue stayed on there. Kind of goofy. And the pit stop racing ribbon. Lost, alone, bored to death, not making good choices. Put down the hammer, put down the razor saw, don't play with matches. Stay away from daddy's vice. That will destroy all your toys. If you destroyed all your cars as a kid, come to Johnny Roman Supper Club and you will see all the cars that you destroyed at some point, some way, somehow. You live those childhood memories. Oh. Well, let me tell you, don't hang out with the wrong guys! Stay away from weird people. Choose your friends. Don't let weirdos follow you. Oh, unless they're toy car case guys who love Johnny Roman's Supper Club. <laughs> I think we're all a little crazy. But let me tell you, we're going to show you good cars, clean cars. It's free! All you have to do is subscribe. And you can see all the cars you had as kids. Come to one event. Come to them all. We've got videos all the time. Subscribe. Subscribe. On our YouTube channel. At Toy Car Case. Oh, I get so excited when the toy cars come out. Johnny Roman coming to a supper club near you. Check out the Toy Car Case YouTube channel. And subscribe. No animals were hurt during the filming of this commercial. However, several cars were obliterated! And we'll probably look at slots afterwards, right? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh. Look at all those cool cars that were on the wreath. Hopefully he didn't pay too much for it, the co-worker, but still cool stuff. So, let me switch a light around here so we get a little different perspective on the lighting. And, let's go racing. Ready? I'm just grabbing two by two and out the door we go, right? Oh! <laughs> Seriously. That NASCAR is up in the corner and we're going to crash him right through. Ferrari in the front lane truck in the outer lane boom push him right through that was a way to do it no stretching or bending for me today that is awesome oh little rollover in the end kind of cool we'll get these guys in here make sure they're lined up oh that van he took a tumble huh? oh. let's this guy looks like he could push him through 
Van's on the in inner lane, so we'll put him on the inner lane, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Mr. VW Broken Chassis Boy. He got stuck up there. And I'm going to move these guys so we can at least hopefully push those through with that Volkswagen that's stuck there. Oh, yeah. Did you see him? He kind of rallied around the corner there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yep. Crazy, man, crazy. Hang on. Hey, I just want to remind you that Christmas is going to be taped early and then scheduled to play on its appropriate days, so we might not be around for a long part of the Christmas countdown. So if you don't hear from me or response, don't be worried. We'll come back and try and answer everything and see what you guys got going. But I'm gonna have Christmas early, like I said, probably film in late October, early November, and get it all done and set all 26 days, and go from there. And uh, gotta start finding some Christmas presents. <laughs> Okay, rock on my friends, rock on. Oh, you're going to get two in one video. So you got a little racer. We might race again in the end, but not these. These are slots, but maybe some of those Hot Wheels off that wreath. So you ready to dig into this one and see what we got? Let me switch lights around again. Oh, it's a never-ending battle of switching lights. Get a little brighter so you can see a little better. Look at this one. Slot car. Missing the grill, which is too bad. It is what it is, you know? And I'm sure there's replacement parts and stuff like that for all sorts of these these again are in a little bin here's a little taxi <laughs> oh that body is a little crooked in there just gotta straighten it out a little afx body under there oh yeah those mileage that's some oldie printing airport service it's pretty cool on a slot These are kind of new and old. Oh, look at this with the reflective tape on there. Now my friend, I got these from, he's, he loved the reflective tape. <laughs> look at those red tires on this. This is a Tyco. Pretty sweet. Camaro looks like with that pointy nose on it. Got a shoot on it. But a little clown-like. But he did like clowns, so that's good. Look at this, a Miata! <laughs> oh, Soda Pop <laughs> is so funny. He's got a buddy that's got a blue one. Another one friend that's got a red one that just made it into a four-wheel drive. But <laughs> look at that Miata. Oh, on a slot car, that is the coolest thing. <laughs> oh. Look at this, maintenance. Number three, van, Tyco. Missing one of the uh, shoes on there and the springs on that. Got a big uh, workbench on the back and bumper system. That's pretty cool. Again, a lot of these will just need some little maintenance here and there. And I think I've got most of the parts for like the springs and the bushes. A Lambo on this. Look at that. Again, this is like slot car rama. Now I only know the old school. I don't know like those supersonic ones that like hold the track up when you're holding. <laughs> you know, you got the car on the track and it's holding a piece of track. It's so heavy. Or the the um, the magnets these magnets right here are so strong that it can hold the car upside down on the track without it falling off now this is cool you got the wheels kind of hidden under these other wheels still really 
I'm digging that one. I love the uh, the movie cars and stuff like that, TV cars. Look at this. Now, he was a die-hard Chevy S10 and Chevy Silverado and Chevy pickup truck guy. And that's what it's going to be, most of his cars, I'm telling you. Coolest stuff around. Look at this van. Oh, with a surfboard. That is sweet. Um, that says blah, blah, blah. Something. Tommy Dan, Dan Danger. Oh, Danger Danger. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Graffitied. Auto World in 2008. That is. Again, the surfboard on anything is pretty cool. Oh, look at this. It's his Buick Grand National. Pretty nice. Wow. Ah, crazy, crazy stuff. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, I love slot cars. <laughs> look at this. She snaily saw this one. The snail master, the snail miser. He's eye spied with his little eyes. A Ghostbuster Echo One in a slot car. So cool. Auto World again. That is very cool. Now, I told you long again. I'll tell you again because I'm old and I can repeat my stories. We can repeat our stories to each other over and over again, which is a great thing. I found a good humor truck slot car and sold it. I was so stupid. But I wish I kept it. It was so cool. I've never seen one before in my life. And I had a great opportunity. This one's missing a bumper. To have a really cool slot car. But there's a lot of cool slot cars here. And oh my, there's so many cool cars in the world. Van K Carding Wheels. Oh, I got a friend down in Hindi area that is racing carts. So cool <laughs> seeing what he's doing. Do not touch! You will destroy it with the oils from your fingers. <laughs> Look at these slot cars. They just keep coming and coming. That is really wild. What is that, King Tut? I don't know. No, it looks almost like uh, the Predator. On the little winged drift car. Pretty nice. Again, slot car, old Rama today. STP. Look at that. Very fun. The King's Colors. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I'm digging these. There's something about slot cars that are just so cool. Here's a Mellow Yellow. We saw a Mellow Yellow racing van. Kind of mismatched. I wonder if this would fit in there. Tyco. On the side. Yeah, like I said, holy smokes. Here's Christine on a slot car. And I, he never set up his slot car track, so he bought these and put them right into storage. Never got to use them. So sad. Oh, there's, is that a magnet on there? Oh yeah, it is a magnet like super magnet to hold it on the track or something which is cool uh, 55 in the house love this super pumpkin look at that 
replicating a straight axle dragster. It's kind of weird the way it's sitting in there so high. But that's for another video. Right now I'm just showing them to you. Seeing what you see and seeing if you like. Oh, look at this one's got an antennae on there. You see that? Number three. Oh, there's your little bit of screw action. I'll put it in the bottom of that. I'm sure we'll run across that again. Tyco. Oh, it has. Oh, this is a remote control one. Because you've got steering action and no pin. But it looks like you could almost put a pin in there so you could actually race it on the track against other cars. And that's pretty wild. Wild, wild. Look at this! The Ford. Look at that. So nice. Teardrop Dave on the hood. I don't know what's going on with that bumper. It's got a little black paint on it. But look at the details. I'm telling you, these had a lot of cool details. And then to see these actually racing down the track. So much fun. Just nuts. A city. Oh, look at this one. Again, some of these newer ones are pretty sweet. And have some technology that really blows away the old stuff. Outdoor World Bass Pro Shop Tracker Really nice it's a Different chassis on that Kind of nice Have no idea if it works or not Again, I'm just showing and going to the next Here's another Brass Bass Pro Shop Careful <laughs> Might be kids around Your grandkids it's bass. Oh, look at that. And so I wonder if those two cars came in like some sort of set. Some racing set that they uh, had. Oh, look at this. Charger, right? Right? It's a charger. Not a challenger, a charger. <laughs> Or am I wrong? Tell me. Tell me I need a good laugh. G plus! Oh, don't mess with the G plus. That is fast, super fast, and faster than super fast on the track. Here's a bold, pr bold press B, blah, 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 B. Bass Pro Shop again, black. Hmm. Must have been a giveaway or something. And people gave a lot of those away. That's the third one. And here's the fourth one. It's in blue. So we got a red, a blue, and two blacks. Exact same markings, everything. Come on. So you got, oh, all we need is a white one. Look at those, we got all those right in a row. Oh, look at this, a <laughs> jungle gym. Oh, that is so cool. He was the guy back in the day. Look at the wheelie bars on that. He had some really cool cars and graphics. Some great model kits back in the day, Auto World. And then Pam is starter, right? I know you guys remember her. Look at this, the king again, with all his sponsors. What is this, a Cyclone or something? Or is that a Mustang Fastback? No, that's no Mustang. That's some sort of Hemi something or other. Torino? East Tennessee. What is this car? Oh, help me out, guys. Remember, like, su like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out. If you 
click on that bell it'll give you give you uh, notifications every time we launch a video and that could be a good good thing oh look at this one I'm digging this SS Chevelle look at this that's American Muscle Fun at its best great colors on that I'm digging that one do we have a manufacturer on this oh this one's actually screwed into place wow that must be some serious racing holy smokes I'm gonna back up a little bit look at all those slot cars and we got a ton to go yet look at this Camaro wow that's kind of fun wild graphics on it great wheelie bars and again these are all slots to auto world to go racing down the track auto world is kind of taking my my breath away <gasps> because they are some pretty cool cars here's a super bird no maybe not because the nose isn't as pointy as the others Good old 43, the king. And I'm not speaking Elvis. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, look at this one. Georgia Shaker. Oh, that is... I'm telling you, these cars are so nice. Great details and stuff. I'm thinking that magnets to hold it on the track as it's racing around, you know, doing its thing. Look at this one. Lafayette Ford. Lafayette, North Carolina. Fred Lorenzen. That is nice. Look at the big slicks on there, too. I got some big fatties on there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, <laughs> slot cars are so much fun. Look at this one. Another Chevy. Chevy. What is that? A Chevy 2? Pre Nova? The hooker. Headers. Bill Jenkins on that. A Grumpy's toy. Nice. Look at the details on this. I mean, it is just so amazing. Again, this one's a screw-in, so that's a serious, serious game player there. Now look. Oh! <laughs> they, were, they were hanging out to each other. The 57 Chevy with <laughs> those front wheel wells are cut out the size of my stomach look at that thing you can fit some tubby tubby two by fours in there like me after the buffet that has been closed forever oh uh, look at that no bumper and a great bumper on the front look at that that is so nice I'm telling you some of these cars are sweet as can be Don Perdone. Nope. Don Shoemaker. Superior. Look at the detail on that. Come on. That is amazing. Look at all the rivets on the window. This is top end stuff. So cool. There's something about slot cars that are just wild. Again, Auto World, which is pretty amazing 2008 I really haven't been showing you this round two and let me tell you round two does some great great repops of some beautiful things here's Don Perdome the snake wind stickers ah oh. I had some friends get some stickers lately they shared with each other STP old 70s stickers so cool look at that 
Auto World again, round two. Incorporated, they had some really sweet cars. This is Whipple McCulloch. Never heard of them. But look at how the beautiful detail and stuff on this. That is pretty amazing. Now, back in the day, this one's a slot. I just had a little simple pay on a world. I love the wheelie bars on that. Look at the details, just. These are pretty amazing slot cars. I mean, ours, ours were not nearly that this detailed. Look at this Indy car. Very cool. AFX rocking the house. Let's see what else we got here. Another Indy. Now these are a little bit newer than the ones I had as a kid. You know, I'm sure a lot of you had the same ones I had. We're all a little older. There are some 20 year olds on the site, which is pretty cool to see them. And they've got some great collections too. Crazy cool collections. Look at these slots though, I'm telling you, so cool. Man, I wish I had more space. I'd set up a slot car set as well as the uh, Hot Wheels and you know how fast I work, you know, it <laughs> take for a billion years. Look at this Pennzoil, a little driver in there, pretty nice. Again, you could service these and work on them, you can scale them up, scale them down, make them just fancy as all get out. Scale master on this one. Look at that. Again, the details are just amazing. I don't know if you had a favorite slot car or slot car series. I was talking to Saul, and Saul said he never had these. Oh, now this one's got the wing busted off, which is too bad, so sad. But again, what you guys are doing with stuff, it's just amazing. Watching some of your channels, oh, it is so cool to see you refurbishing some old vintage cars and stuff. Oh, so amazing. Great talent out there. Look at this. Now, it looks like the front wing on this one got busted off. See that? It's, it's kind of rough and ragged on that edge. Missing a wing, but hey, if you're going around the track, maybe that wing is slowing you down a little bit. Oh, look at this <laughs> slot car. Oh, that is funny. Turbo, number 49. It's like some off-road place with a ton of spring and sprung. And <laughs> it actually does spring. That is pretty cool. Nice. Another one. This one's in red. Pretty sweet. Oh, that is nice. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, here's one. Look at this. Look at this. Am jet. I am a jet. Little guy stuck in there, all wedged in there, so he doesn't get hurt if he wipes out. AFX car on that. Oh boy, <laughs> we only got a one more layer to go. But look at <laughs> look at all these cars. <laughs> I tell you, that's a lot of cars. Some. Some Hot Wheels, but mostly slots. 
Is that crazy? Oh, no. Here's another um, Tyco uh, radio controlled. So you got a little wire there, so these wheels should turn. No. Hmm. That baby's ready for the racetrack. But it does have some sort of little antenna up there, which is kind of neat. Nice. Oh, look at this. This is crazy. Look at the colors on that. That is wild. I'm digging that one. Very nice. Oh, that is very cool. Oh, some old school. Again, here's another Ford. Now, we've seen one just like this before. So, this is a double. But that is crazy, man. That is crazy cool. Oh, <laughs> do you have a favorite yet? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. <laughs> Got a low-profile wheel just hanging out back there. I don't know where it came from, but... Here's another 57 Chevy. Smokies. Paul Goldsmith. Look at all the details on this. I'm telling you, it's so cool. Look how beautiful that is. Again, some of the 50s chrome. Just amazing. that AFX it's not saying but it's screwed in whatever that screwed in one is let's see what this one is Tyco 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 this one looks like an older one Die Hard Champion STP that almost looks like it could be a Grand National as well okay I'm thinking, yeah, missing the bumper though. Too bad. Oh, oh, that's our little screw that we had. Color me gone! 987. Pretty cool. 425 horsepower. It's pretty. That is Color Me Gone. Totally rocking. Look at that. Yeah, I, I'm still learning. I mean, I know my old slot cars, but not this newer stuff. So it's kind of cool to learn about this. Oh, look at this Mopar. Now you're talking my kind of stickers. Look at this goofy sticker on the top. Hemis. Oh, look at that. I love this artwork. We used to have stickers like that all the time. You remember those? Rap Fink. Totally cool. Ed Roth Creation. Oh, that is nice. Auto World, of course. <laughs> so much fun. Got three more to go. Oh, look at this Dodge. Dick Landy. So amazing. Look at the details. Just so great. Good year on the wheels. All sorts of sponsors. Is it missing a gear in there? Oh no, there it is. Look at that. There it is. Again, just these cars are so wild. So much fun. Here's a Camaro, one of those 1980s, <laughs> that type of thing. Kind of speechless on it. They're they're not my fave, but that's okay. But this one is. Look at that Javelin MX. Look at that sweet little short powerhouse. That thing was small and compact. American Motor, 
motors power this is so cool AMX on the back there SS AMX 1 look at that oh that is so cool and one tire <laughs> so I don't know what lost the tire in there and there's one screw in the bottom that got caught up on something so there you got it what do you think pretty wild right oh let me see if I can get a fly over get rid of my uh, stand here look at these guys do you have a favorite Oh, I'm telling you, there's a lot of really cool cars in here. I do like the cars that are um, from the movies and stuff. I do like the vintage cars. Some of the detail on these cars are just fantastic. Oh, that is amazing. That band. Uh, the Echo One is totally cool. This Jake's is pretty cool. These Indy cars are really cool. Christine. Oh, uh, the Miata, because we got a Miata in the garage, which is so much fun to drive around. Big Mama's driving it now. So that is so cool. And then you got your Hot Wheels in the back there. Ah, uh, what do you think? What do you think? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So, thanks for looking at all the slot cars. And uh, I'm not going to race. I'm getting hot out here. And I'm going to go inside in the air conditioning. And we will see you on the flip-flop on the orange black top. We got a lot more to show you coming up. So, remember, like, subscribe, comment. Let's hear from you. That would be great. <laughs> we will talk to you on the flip flop on the orange black top. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. Hey, I just want to remind you that Christmas is going to be taped early and then scheduled to play on its appropriate days. So we might not be around for a long part of the Christmas countdown. So if you don't hear from me or response, don't be worried. We'll come back and try and answer everything and see what you guys got going. But I'm going to have Christmas early. Like I said, probably film in late October, early November, and get it all done and set all 26 days and go from there. And uh, got to start finding some Christmas presents. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, rock on my friends, rock on. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.